Let's go, baby. The Mavericks have forced a game seven with a 113 to 86 win over the Phoenix Suns. We'll break it all down here on the channel just for you guys, but we got to ask you the most important question. If you want Scott Foster, Scotty F, to ref game seven, Chris Paul 0 and 14 with this guy officiating playoff games, spam 48 in the chat. That's Foster's referee jersey number. Let's get it popping. Type your four eights in the comments if you want Scott Foster for game seven. You're watching Mavericks today, Mavericks tonight, after a big 27-point win over Phoenix. If you guys uh, could have seen what I just did uh, in between that intro video, uh, you guys would be laughing. Uh, Jeff Cooperstein going to be in here in just a moment. Well, let's kind of run through a few uh, parts of the box score, then we'll break this one down. Huge win, obviously, as Dallas forces a do-or-die game seven. Dallas got out to an early lead and really just kind of put the pedal to the metal, especially in that second quarter, getting up 15 uh, at halftime and then big third quarter and then kind of forded around early in the fourth but then refocused and pulled away. Uh, Luka Doncic, 33-11-8. 30, and eight. Reggie Bullock had a big game, five three-pointers. Jalen Brunson had 18 points. Spencer Dinwiddie as well, 15 off the bench, five of seven from three-point range. DeAndre Ayton had a nice double-double, 21-11, and 11, but Devin Booker – Chris Paul held in check. Coop, uh, Aiton had a big game, but when only one of the big three go off for Phoenix, I think you're feeling good if you're Dallas. Yeah, definitely. Uh, they, you know, they limited Chris Paul and Devin Booker again. I mean, Booker was still pretty good, made some kind of tough shots, but uh, you'll live with one of those three going off. And if that one is Aiton, you probably have a good chance at winning the game because that means Chris Paul didn't control the pace. Mavs controlled the pace for the majority of the night, and that was a big reason why they ended up with the win. Yeah, Chris Paul just four assists tonight. Devin Booker, six of 17. Those are a couple of numbers, statistics that you'll live with. You know another stat you'll live with, Coop? 22 turnovers by Phoenix. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about Game 7 later on. I don't think that's happening in Game 7. So if you're Dallas, uh, I would not expect that on uh, Sunday night, but you got it today. Yeah, look. Phoenix is not going to turn the ball over like that in Game 7. No. They're going to be at home at the Footprint Center. Uh, that that arena is going to be rocking. Chris Paul, one of the best point guards of his generation uh, in the do-or-die game. He hasn't, you know, he, he hasn't always finished in those Game 7s, but uh, if there's if there's one guy who I would trust the, with the ball in his hands, it would be Chris Paul. Uh, so it'll, it'll be a tough game for the Mavs to win, like we've seen. They haven't been able to do anything in Phoenix uh, this year. And they'll have to find out. They'll have to find something different to do here because they couldn't get anything done there in game se in uh, the first three games. But hey, to get to a game seven, you got to win game six. So, what's your one-word reaction to the Mavs win tonight? I think just you know, I, I think just professional. Like to get this to seven after falling down 2-0, then you go down 3-2 after a blowout game five loss. How about resilient? I think this team has shown to be very resilient throughout this whole season. You start 16-18, and 18, go on a huge run. You lose game one in the Utah series, win four of the next five to win that series. You fall down 2-0 in this series and 3-2. You keep coming back. You force a game seven against the best team in the NBA. What all can you ask for? If you lose game seven, yeah, it's going to suck, but you know what no one expected the Mavericks to be here I think they've had a heck of a run and I don't know if it's necessarily over yet resilient win tonight they'll have a crack at it on Sunday before we take a look at game seven we'll talk a little bit more about this game Luka Doncic 33 points 11 rebounds eight assists we'll bring Coop back here in a second just 11 of 26 from the floor but I thought Coop those two dunks in the third quarter to kind of you know even things out a bit when it looked like Phoenix might try to go on a run there. I thought that helped really kind of put the game away midway through the third. Yeah, it uh, it gave the Mavs a jolt of energy when they maybe didn't have it, and it definitely took anything that Phoenix had out of their sales. So those were definitely good. And you know what? It looked like Luka hung on the rim there for a minute. I didn't know <laughs> if he was hurt or if he was going to get that second technical. He came awfully close to getting that second tee a couple times tonight, but uh, was able to keep his emotions in check there. And you know what? It was it was a great win. Uh this this series has been weird, Harrison. There six no games, close games, no close games. Uh, I'm I'm hoping for my heart that there's not a close game in Game <laughs> Seven, but uh, if it's close down the stretch, I think we'll take it. Look, uh, 
it's been one of those weird – the home team has dominated. I mean, what can you say? Game one, Phoenix only won by seven at home. It was not that close. Dallas outscored them by ten in the fourth. They were down 17 after three. Uh, game two, more of the same. Blowout by Phoenix. Games three and four, Dallas controlled. Game five, Phoenix blowout. Game six, Dallas blowout. I mean, it's been one of these games. It kind of makes me think that we're due for a close game seven. Uh, I'd rather take a close game seven with the chance in the fourth quarter than to get blown out again. So uh, we'll see what happens. Happens. Yeah, and look, you, <laughs> you're hoping that you can just – you got to play it in 12-minute increments. I know it sounds cliche, but you really, have to make sh- you really have to make sure that you don't get blown out in the first quarter. You got to keep in it. And then you just keep chopping away the minutes and chopping away the minutes, and then hopefully with five minutes left you have a ball game, and that's all you can ask for. Mavs have the best player in the series, and you like your chances there. And what's crazy is, is Luka has not shot over 50% in a game since game two. Yeah. So, like, he still could be due for one of these 15 for 25 type of games in game seven. So, we'll see if it happens. We'll talk a little bit more about this one and that game in just a moment. But perfect time to subscribe. We got game seven coming up. We'll have kind of a deeper preview of game seven coming up here on Friday. So, stay tuned for that. Hit that subscribe button, youtube.com slash Mavs TV. It's been a hell of a journey so far, and we hope it continues. If worst case scenario it doesn't, We'll start our off-season coverage. We're not going anywhere here on Mavericks today. Hit that sub button. Links in the comments and in the description, youtube.com slash MavsTV. It's been a theme in this uh, series. At home, the role players have stepped up. Jalen Brunson, 6 of 14, 18 points. Uh, you also get Dinwiddie with 15 off the bench. For those two to combine for 33 points, and Dinwiddie shot uh, 5 for 7 from the field, so they go a combined 11 for 21, really efficient from those two. Uh, Reggie Bullock had a nice game, 7 of 15 from the field, 5 of 11 from three, 19 points. Uh, you got your role players to step up, and that's huge in the playoffs and this has been the ultimate role players play better at home uh, type of series that's been the case for Phoenix that's been the case for Dallas Uh, if you're a Suns fan that means you're probably feeling good about game seven if you're Dallas you're hoping that changes in game seven you're hoping somebody can run with Luka Doncic and get him some help because that's what it's going to take to win a game seven on the road against the top team in the NBA now who was the MVP for tonight's game I'd still give it to Luka Doncic even though he wasn't super efficient Uh, almost had a triple double 33 11 and 8 uh just one turnover that's a tremendous number for him usually he's good for two three four per game just had one tonight let us know tonight's game six mvp was who we'll bring chuck or uh, chuck cooperstein uh, uh, he had a i'm sure he had some good calls uh tonight uh uh jeff but uh, final thoughts on game six then uh, a couple of thoughts heading into game seven yeah, I thought the Mavs were going to be able to keep it close, um, and they did. They they ended up kind of blowing them out. Uh, so it was a it was a really good win. It kept up the trend in this series of no close games. <laughs> and I'm like I said, man, I'm just hoping they have a close game and they have a chance to win there in Game Seven. I'm not expecting much going in, uh, but hopefully we get number forty eight Scott Foster, please, <laughs> and uh, Cuban, and we'll make, make it interesting. Make the How call, about that? Cuban. Listen, you. Can- if you told me before this series you'd get a game seven against the number one seeded Phoenix Suns, I'd take it, regardless of how you get there. Um, I'm with you. Phoenix will be and should be favored in game seven. Uh, but weirder things have happened. We saw the Clippers last year. Now, they were a favorite in that series, but they lost game five to go down 3-2, and they won the final two games. The Mavs will get a chance to do that this year as well. They're halfway there. They won game six. Can they win game seven? What do you think? Let us know what you guys think. Who wins game seven? Do or die. Type D-A-L for the Dallas Mavericks. Type P-H-X for the Phoenix Suns. Do or die on Sunday. Do we know what time yet? I don't think we know. We'll find out soon enough. I think it depends on these game sixes tomorrow uh, between Boston and Milwaukee and Golden State and Memphis. So we'll see what happens there. Who wins it in game seven? Full preview coming tomorrow. D-A-L for the Mavs or P-H-X for the Phoenix Suns.